രാജേശ്വരി വെങ്കിട്ടരമണൻ നൂറ്റി മുപ്പത് വാക്ക് ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് ഷോർട്ട് ആൻഡ് സ്പീഡ് ഡിക്റ്റേഷൻ ആണ് വായിക്കുന്നത് ഇത് അമ്പത്തി ആറാമത്തെ ഡിക്റ്റേഷൻ ആണ് കഴിഞ്ഞ അമ്പത്തഞ്ച് ഡിക്റ്റേഷനും നിങ്ങൾ ധാരാളം പ്രാവശ്യം ഓരോ ഡിക്റ്റേഷനും നാലഞ്ച് പ്രാവശ്യം പ്രാക്ടീസ് ചെയ്യണം ഓക്കെ വി ക്യാൻ സ്റ്റാർട്ട് The urgent need for increasing agricultural production needs no emphasis especially now when the present food shortage has raised a national stir the national emergency has given this problem a new urgency the rapidly increasing population the urgent need to conserve foreign exchange now being spent on food imports are compelling us to act quickly in solving this problem unless agricultural production is increased quickly our hopes of developing the rural sector will be a mere dream that disease the situation even after our planned efforts and heavy investments during the last 15 years should be a matter of serious concern to us all we have not been lagging behind in streamlining our agricultural research education and administration and in building up a network of cooperatives for providing the required inputs for increasing agricultural production yet our performance in the agricultural field during the third five year plan leaves much to be desired it is true that in this effort of ours we are faced with many problems of agricultural production and the modern problem arising out of our planned efforts to step up agricultural production most of these problems are being tackled through with varying degrees of success and if our legislative measures for increasing allocations to the agricultural sector in our successive five year plans and our rapidly expanding organization for agricultural production are of any indication at all our agricultural production should be registering a continuous and unbroken rapid rise but it is not hence we need to turn to other operating factors to which we have not given sufficient attention a rather shocking experience one encounters in our rural areas is the vast local resources yet remaining unexploited and unutilized the magnitude of apathy towards programs for increasing agricultural production introduced by government agencies and excessive dependence on outside financial and material help due to a variety of reasons of which the decline of village institutions and the neglect of rural areas during the british rule are important the villages have become faction ridden and are lacking in community speed the village leadership is increasingly learning towards urban attractions and the dearth of leaders responsible and the responsibility to village needs and interests had acquainted the problem the village community is torn as under by factories and scattered in interests are finding difficulties in quickly absorbing news and progressive ideas no wonder our extension workers find the villagers call to their approaches and ideas it is with this objective of filling in this gap namely of building up a strong competent self reliant and self generating village community that the community development program was introduced in the country in 1952 although a paradox community development was started as an official program with people's participation the initial enthusiasm and response of the people due to newness and program and the interest and approach of the workers was soon to be submerged by the rapid growth of the official machinery primarily oriented to the targets transmitted downwards the experience with community development proved beyond doubt that unless people shoulder the responsibility and take the initiative for their own development utilizing government's help and assistance whenever necessary community development in the rural a sense can only be a far fetched idea so panchayati raj took shape with the establishment of a three tier structure of statutory democratic elected bodies at the village block and district levels working 
as units of local self-governed responsible for planning and development in their respective jurisdictions. Both their previous experience and the present present pressing demands have conditioned the Panjaiti Raj institutions to utilize their limited resources and work primarily to